Christ, we believe that the redemptive work of Christ on the cross provides healing for the human body in answer to believing in prayer. We affirm our faith in the Holy Ghost. We believe that the baptism in the Holy Ghost, according to Acts 2 4, is given to believers who ask for it. We affirm our faith in sanctification. We believe in the sanctifying power of the Holy Spirit, by whose indwelling the Christian is enabled to live a holy and separated life in this present world. Amen. Amen. At this time, our praise and worship team is coming. Join in with them as they lift up the name of the Lord.
such a special way that's a lie.
at 7 o'clock, and we are back in the building. We are still going live for as much as we can, but we are back in the building for Bible study on Tuesdays. Every third Friday, we have our prayer, our intercessory prayer, where we are coming together as a church family to pray here in the building. Please join us for that prayer as well. On the second Friday of every month, our ladies embrace me, and we are studying the bad girls of the Bible. It is on Zoom right now. We're not back in the building for that meeting. It starts at 6.30. Won't you join us as we endeavor to learn about the women in the Bible? Amen. And also, if you would like to be a blessing to this ministry, you can do that in your cash app at dollar sign grace, C-O-G-I-C. And you can also mail us a donation at Grace Church of God in Christ, Post Office Box 1048 Chester, VA 19016. And Grace is going to get out into the community. We are having a pop-up shop and community outreach on June 26th, beginning at 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. Please join us as we go out into the parking lot to be there for our community to come and see. And we may even walk the, the neighborhood a little bit. So if you are a person who likes to witness and talk to folks about Jesus, please, please meet us here on June 26th at 9 a.m. so that we can be a blessing to our community. Amen? Those are our announcements. And at this time, I'm going to put you into the hands of our pastor, Elder Frank York. Yes. Come on, put those hands together in the Lord's service. If you are glad to be here, if you are glad to be here, if you are glad to be here, oh, I wish I had something glad to be here. We're just glad to be here. Just glad to be here. They said to me, glad to see you. And I said, I'm glad to be seen. Ah, it's good to be seen. To be. And I'm glad to be here. Come on. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. We are preparing. And today we're celebrating Pentecost. We are celebrating Pentecost. Amen. It's the universal birthday of the church. And we are here celebrating. Yes. Amen. I'm looking for the Lord to bless Come somebody on. on I there. know you, right. Amen. Who can stand? Amen. Who can stand a blessing? Yes. Who can need a blessing? Thank you, Lord. Ah, uh, who can need a blessing? Yes. I learned a long time ago. If you want the Lord to bless you, sometimes you got to create a reason. <laughs> You have to create a reason for the Lord to bless you. Ah, amen. We have to learn how to create a reason for the Lord to bless us. And so we thank God for each and every one of you. Amen. Thank God for Uncle Wonderly. Amen. Our pastor Meredith. Chairman of our deacon board, deacon woman, all of our deacons, our pastors, deaconess, amen, and you God's people, amen. I'm just glad to be here, amen. I, I, I've been excited since Friday. We had prayer in this place. Prayer went up in this place, amen. And I'm just glad. I'm just glad to be glad, amen. And when you know the Lord. Jesus. And all that he has done 
for me. Amen. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for him. I wouldn't be in my right mind if it wasn't for him. I wouldn't have the activity of my living if it wasn't for him. Thank <laughs> you. 
that over. I don't, I don't like how that's going. It's okay. This is, this is what happens when we can't rehearse. But it's okay. God is still going to get the glory. Hallelujah. So let's just start that over because he deserves better than that. And I'm talking to myself too. Hallelujah, God. We just want to take a second just to welcome again. Welcome in his presence, God. And to let him know, God, you're so worthy. You're so worthy, God. You've been so good to us. You've been so good to me. How dare I not give you the praises due? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
you, Lord. Yes.
of this first chapter of Acts. We ask that everyone to stand. to the 12th verse. They were all amazed and were in doubt, saying one to another, what meaning this? And others mocked them, said, these men are full of new wine. But Peter, standing up with the eleven, lifted up his voice and said unto them, Ye men of Judea, and all ye that dwell in Jerusalem, uh -huh. be this known unto you, and hearken to my voice. For these are not drunk, as ye suppose, seeing it is but the third hour of the day, but this is that which was spoken yeah. by the prophet Joel. And I, and it shall come to pass that in the last day, save God, I will pour my spirit upon all flesh. And your sons and daughters shall prophesy. And your young men shall see visions. And your old men shall dream dreams. And on your servants and on your handmaidens will I pour out in those days of my spirit, and they shall prophesy. Amen to the reading of this word. Have you seen? And I just want to talk about today yes. the Holy Ghost. All right. The Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost. The term Pentecostal. Pentecostal. Which we call ourselves Pentecostals. Comes from a Greek word. Pentecostal. Meaning 50. It refers to the Jewish festival celebrated 50 days after first fruit, Easter. Also known as the Feast of Weeks and the Feast of 50 Days. The doctrine 
of the Holy Spirit is called pneumatology. The word pneumatology comes from the Greek word pneuma, which means wet, breath, spirit, and word. Yes. Combining to me the doctrine of the Holy Spirit. Pneumatology is the study of God's Holy Spirit. And the questions are about the Holy Spirit. When or how do we receive the Holy Spirit? This discussion is controversial because the ministry of the Holy Spirit is often confused. The receiving, the indwelling of the Spirit occurs at the moment of salvation. Uh -huh. But the feeling yeah. of the Spirit is an ongoing process yeah. in the Christian life. There is one filling, but many refillings. Yeah. Who or what is the Holy Spirit? There are many misconceptions about the identity of the Holy Spirit. many misconceptions about the identity of the Holy Spirit. It is not an it, it is not a thing, but it's a person. People say, amen, it, 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 it almost got a hold of me. <laughs> Has a 
a lot in common. Look at this. Jesus was in the world. And the world was made by him. Read 1 John. But the world knew him not. The Holy Ghost was in the church. And the church was made by him. But the church knew him not. Churches today are being ran without the Holy Ghost. It seems there is a place for everything but the Holy Ghost. Come on now. Let me challenge you for a minute. We look around. There we'll realize that there's a place for everything mm -hmm. but the Holy Ghost. There's a place for announcements. Well, come on. There's a place for the hymns. Uh -huh. There's a place for the praise team to sing. Well. There's a place for the ushers to come down the aisle. Well. My God, we all know that there's a place for the offering. Well, come on, come on. Lord, I, I, I've been in some services. The Holy Ghost is filled, but it was all for a time. Oh, come on. Come and the in. people was trying to get out there. But somebody said that the offering wasn't wrong. So they stopped the music, stopped all that dancing, y'all. No, we got to get this offering right. So there's a place yes. for everything in the church but the Holy Ghost. Mm. There is a place, the church, the churches are too organized. Yes. 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 We're too organized that some churches don't want to break the order to make room for the Holy Ghost. Amen. We, 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 we make our little announcements and pass the mic. Sing our little songs and pass the mic. Make observations and pass the mic. Yeah. While meantime, the Holy Ghost is somewhere off in the corner waiting for us to pass it to hell. Out of weaklings. Well, come on. 
make weaknesses out of weaklings. Because, look at the 12. Before the Holy Ghost came, they were all powerless. Come on. And therefore, weaklings. The disciples, during the death and resurrection of Jesus, they were weaklings. On the day that Jesus had ascended to heaven, looked and asked a question that these weaklings asked. Jesus said, Jesus is saying that he's telling them that they should not depart yes. from Jerusalem, uh -huh. but wait for the promise of the Father. Yes. Then he went on to tell them, for John baptized with water, uh -huh. but you shall be baptized with the Holy Ghost. And look at the question that they ask. Lord, will you at this time restore again the kingdom of Israel? Jesus said unto them, and I guess he was saying, look, don't worry about all of that. Because it's not for you to know That's right. the time or season mm -hmm. which the Father has put in his power. Yes. And after that, Jesus set them straight on this issue. Here comes another question. Shall we start carrying out the Great Commission? And Jesus just told them not to depart from Jerusalem. Well, come on but to wait for the promise. Don't go nowhere, but wait. And a lot of times, people are quick to run and do something that they weren't told to do. Well, well, but Jesus said, wait. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I can hear the words of Isaiah saying, but they that wait upon the Lord.
and the effect of witness. Yes, that's right. You need the Holy Ghost. Yes. yes. You need the Holy Ghost. If you really want for your witness yes. Yes. to have on. an impact, yes. you need the divine power of the Holy Ghost. Yes. The word then was to wait. Yes. Then witness. Many times we want to jump the gun yes. and understand whenever you are trying to do something spiritual out of your own power, Come on. it's not going to work. That's right. So the word was wait, then witness. Yeah. Now it's time to witness and yeah. the power of the Holy Ghost yeah. because we can't afford to go around and go out there as weaklings, yes. trying to do the work of the Lord. Yeah. Because it's a war zone out there. Yes. Yes. And you're going to need power. power. You're going to need power to power. speak to those yes. who are living in sin. Yes. You're going to need power, power to reach the drug addict. Yes. You're going to need some power to reach the alcoholic. Yes. You will need power, power to reach those that carry the weapons. Yes. You will need some power, power to reach those that stand in the red light district. Yes. You will need power, power who don't want to hear nothing. Yes. But Paul said, wherefore take unto you yes. the whole
weaklings. Yes. But it brings fellowship. Mm -hmm. The Holy Ghost is like that gorilla glue. Mm -hmm. Or any other type of glue. <laughs> it's the Holy Ghost yeah, that will make us stick together. Yeah. Yeah.
Thank God. Thank God for the Holy Ghost. Thank God for the Holy Ghost. Come on, lift your hands. Just tell them, thank God. Thank God. Come on, thank you. Come on, thank you. Come on, thank you. Come on, thank you. Come on, thank you.
whatever you need, you just reach up and grab it. You just reach up and grab it. If it's strength, if it's joy, some power that delivers a breakthrough, comfort, God, God grab you, just, you just grab it.
I need you, the people of God, to help me raise $300,000. The people raise $300,000. That's what the Lord put in my spirit. Put in my spirit. I'm starting it off with 50. Thank you. 